Welcome back everyone. A uh, special welcome to you new viewers as well as my subscribers. New viewers, you should become subscribers. It's a massive pile of shredded cheese that's uh, mild cheddar, sharp cheddar, uh, and Monterey Jack and a little bit of Colby. It's 16, no actually I'm sorry, it's 20 ounces of cheese. What am I going to do with a big pile of shredded cheese and a crock pot? I'm going to make crock pot macaroni and cheese. But in order to do this, I still need to make a cheese sauce. So let's head over to the stove and let's start a roux. All right, I've got a skillet. I'm gonna start a roux. A roux is fat, in this case, butter, but you could use oil um, or you could use any other fat that can melt. Uh, and then flour and then some kind of cream or milk. In this case, I'm using whole milk and flour and butter. It's about four tablespoons of butter, two tablespoons of flour. Once this gets melted down, we'll add in the flour. Butter's melted, so the flour's going in. And I'm going to stir this up until it combines, which will be very quick. And you'll see that it gets that kind of creamy texture and color of the butter. Our milk, two cups. And I've got this on a medium heat. It's about a four or so the electric stove. Okay, you can see that this is starting to thicken up a bit. Um, <clears throat> I added all the milk in. Excuse me. So while this is starting to thicken, I'm just going to take a couple handfuls and we're slowly going to incorporate in our shredded cheese. This is going to be the cheese sauce portion. I'm not going to put the whole thing of cheese in because personally I like my mac and cheese to have a little bit of melted cheese and a little bit of uh, cheese sauce in it. So I'm going to put about half of this into the sauce and this is the process. You just keep stirring it, let it combine, add a little more, stir it and let it combine. So this will take a couple minutes and when we'll come back we'll have some nice cheese sauce ready to go. Okay you can see that now we've got more of a color of the cheese this is paprika. I'm just putting a pinch. It's going to give it a nice little taste. And then this is black pepper. Again, just a pinch. And finally, uh, kosher salt. And not a lot, just a pinch. Okay, so this is pretty well incorporated. I'm going to take this off the heat. In my slow cooker I have uh, two pounds of macaroni noodles, or elbow macaroni, um, cooked to just slightly under al dente. Uh, most packages that's going to be about nine to ten minutes, but read the instructions and go a minute, minute less. Um, now all we're going to do is just pour this right in, I'm sorry, and then we'll mix it up. We're just mixing this up to get it combined so we get some good cheesy goodness all the way through. All right, so I said that's got a good mix to it. Top with our remaining shreds. All right, there you go. So this is nicely topped. Don't be afraid to get in here and get a little bit dirty. Two hours on high. And then you'll have some really good slow cooker mac and cheese. You can go four hours on slow if you have the time. And you could then leave it on warm from there. So see you, see you in two hours. So it's been two hours. Let's check it out and see how we're looking. Looks good. Nice and melted down. Put a spoon in there. Down in there. That looks good. And Easy. There you go. Nice and easy. Slow cooker, macaroni and cheese, done easy. Two hours on high, four hours on low. Give it a shot. Let me know what you think and how it tastes. And if you make any variations, as always, you know the drill. Subscribe, share, like, comments below. 